Okay, in, in this video, we're going to talk about how to store a negative whole number. But before we do that, just a quick review. Uh, to store a character on your keyboard, we use the ASCII coding scheme. And um, we create a variable here called letter. And it's of type char. And there it is in main storage right up here. Okay, letter one byte big. And to store a capital A, you turn on the 64 and the one bit. Capital B is a 64 and 2 is 66. Capital C is a 67. Lowercase a is a 97. That would be 64, 32, and 1. Lowercase b is a 98. And the character 0 is a 48. The character 1 is a 49. Just a quick review. To store a whole number, let's suppose we create a variable x right here of type byte, which means... It's going to be a whole number from negative 128 to plus 127. And there's x right here in main memory. And if you wanted to store, say, 12 and x, you would turn on the 8 and the 4. That would be a 12. If, in fact, you wanted to store a 0, you're looking at a 0 right now. Nothing's on. If you wanted to store a 1, you would turn on the 1. If you want to store a 9, you turn on the 8 and the 1. Okay, and you can store, if you turn all these on, except for the 128, this would be 127. That's the highest positive value you can store for a byte data type. Okay, if you wanted to store a negative value, okay, and again, we're going to use a byte because it's easy to work with. I create a variable x of type byte. The range is negative 128 through 0 to 127, and I want to store a negative 12. Okay, here are the rules Okay, to find a negative value. Number one, find the positive value. Okay, number two, flip the bits. Number three, add one. Okay, well, to find negative 12, I have to find positive 12 right here, 8 and a 4. Now convert that to binary, and that's this turn on the 8 and the 4 bit. So 00001100, that is the binary value of 12. Now flip the bits. That means make all the zeros ones and all the ones zeros. So I have 11110011. I've just flipped the bits. Let me get rid of that now. I have to add 1. Well, how do you add 1? Okay, so you add 1 right down here. So 1 plus 1 is a 0, carry the 1. 1 and 1 here is a 0, carry the 1. 1 and 0 is a 1, and then 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. And this is the binary for a negative 12. Okay, let's do one more. Let's say that I wanted to find negative 127. So I know that if I had a bit configuration like this, that that's positive 127. So I'm going to turn that into binary. Okay, now I have to flip the bits. Zeros become ones, and ones become zeros. Okay, then I add 1. And that becomes negative 127. By the way, I almost forgot. Negative 128. Okay, is simply turning on the 128 bit. That is negative 128. So the range of a byte okay, is from negative 128 to through 0 to 127. If you want to have values that are smaller than neg negative 128 or larger than 127, we use a different data type. Okay, But that's negative 128. To find all the other negative values, find the positive value, flip the bits, and add 1.